Well, good morning, DCO Nation. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. I'm with Deadcom Outdoors. And this morning, I am in Merle's Inlet. I'm leaving out of the Oyster Recycling Center. And as you can see, I got my big dorky hat on because there is not a cloud in the sky. It is gonna be a beautiful sunny day. But the bad thing about it is the wind is supposed to pick up in a few hours. So, and I mean like, 15 to 20. I'm gonna try to maybe get on a little topwater bite here this morning, throw some soft plastics in some creek mouths. Um, the tide is coming in right now, so we're actually gonna be fishing the incoming tide and maybe just an hour or two of the outgoing. So guys, this is gonna be a great day. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get on a little topwater bite here this morning. This is a uh, topwater that I got out of a mystery tackle box uh, Christmas time for my son. And this is a reaction strike. It's got some pink and a little bit of chrome on it. And I'm gonna start kind of working this little grass line. Uh, I just left the, the landing. So I'm gonna work this grass line because I know there's some oyster right there. And uh, we may be able to pick one up Kind of right off the bat here, there's a little bit of chop on the water. The loudness and the knock of this top water may attract a couple of fish. All right, y'all. This is the Z-Man diesel minnows in beer run color with a 3 16 ounce Texas eye from Eye Strike Fishing with a little bit of mullet procure. So I wanna, I'm over a lot of oyster right now. So that's why I wanted to rig up weedless because I wanna get down as close as I can to the bottom because that's where I know the flounder are obviously. And <clears throat> trout and the redfish, so. We're gonna be twitch, twitch, pause, and slow rolling, and just kind of mixing up my retrieve here a little bit as we make our way down this grass line. Gotta get it away from the pinfish. They are definitely liking that procure. Ah, I hooked one, whatever that is. That may be a, yeah, look at that, I hooked Hooked the croaker, snagged him. Ton of croaker. Sorry about that, buddy. Another creek mouth got some water flooding into here. I'm gonna try to get out towards the center of that. Need to let that kind of get down a little bit. There we go, fish on, guys. There we go. Flounder on. Flounder on. Oh gosh, you just soaked me down. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Flounder on, flounder on. There we go, look at him. You don't think he didn't want that? Right at the top of the mouth. Out. He's gonna be short. He's not gonna be much more than about 14. Let's to see how we are. Yep, 14. Last couple times I've been out, my eye has been off. So let him go over here. There we go, 14. Now the skunk is officially out of the boat. Got some good current movement here. I like it. Let's see if there's a little school of flounder sitting here. Bang, got another one here, guys. Yeah, they're stacked up right here. Nice fish right here, guys. Another nice fish. He whacked it pretty good. Yeah, nice fish. He got off. Oh, that is disappointing. Boy, he thumped it hard, too. Look what he did to the bait. Opened me up. 
I don't think I probably had a good hook set on him. Well, let's get uh, him rigged back up again. I probably didn't have him pinned very well. He, uh, I think I had a little bit of bait in between the hook point and his mouth, which didn't allow me to get him uh, pinned up. So, okay, I'm heading right back in there because that's two fish on two back-to-back -back casts. There's a lot of bait here too pouring into this creek. And these flounder, I think, are stacked up right here. I don't know if you guys can see all the bait popping right now, but that is just, uh, that's part of the reason why I'm catching fish here. Ooh, there's still something here that's messing with the bait. That's what I want to see. I want to see some nervous water. There we go, fish on. There we go. Stay down. Got him. He kicked off and he kicked off into the net. <laughs> yeah. I was going to get him into the boat like a bass. You know, these guys just, just get him in. <laughs> Another little small one, but that's all right. Let's see what he is. I'm saying 11, 12, 12 inch little, little flounder here. There he goes. Okay, two in this area and lost one. Lost a nice one. There we go, fish on, got, ooh. He's there, I saw him. Flounder. I saw him. I got a little flash, he was right there. There we go, fish on, I let him have that one. Stay down. No, you stay down. That's a bigger flounder right here, guys. No, 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 no. You don't. You don't throw that. You stay down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It's like, man, I am not going to let you throw that one. Ooh. Guys, look what he's throwing up. Yeah, that's the match in the hatch right there. Ooh. Yeah, I see you, you slimy, slimy little fish. All right, again, he's probably maybe only about 14, probably a little male. Yep, right at 14. So again, not too bad, but they're hitting all of these little glass minnows, all these little minnows that are about two to three inches. So nice little fish there. There he goes. Okay. I don't want to beat up on those fish too much. So I know there's a nice little school right there. Man, we may, we may get into a little bit of a flounder bite. I may just check this out. Just go up here just a little ways. And, uh, and then if I don't get anything, then I'm going to go back to some more creek mouths because that's definitely... The deeper holes in front of these creek mouths is where the flounder have been, have been sitting. See what's at this little creek mouth.
We're in a little bit of a protected area from the wind right now, which feels pretty good. There we go, fish on. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, flounder. Nice flounder. There he is. All right. Good. Nice little fish here. He's probably about the same size we've been catching all day. I can get a hold of him here. Yeah. He's about the same size. I'm gonna throw, let's throw him on. He's probably 13 or 14 again. 13 and a half. Nice fish. Boom, right back to the depths. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and give this a couple of minutes. Nice. Bang. Nice fish there. Okay. Still, just not a lot of any real size today, but a lot of 14 inch fish. We'll take that. Heath, come on up here. This is my second. Another nice flounder. I got a buddy Heath fishing with me. And uh, try to get him in, on some fish too. This is two casts in a row right here. Nice. Two casts in a row. Really? Get out of here with that. Yeah, you're not happy about that, are you? All right. Okay, look at that. Wanted it. Alright, second in a row. Let's just check him real quick. Probably still about the same. 13 and a half. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so I got my buddy Heath on the other side. Looks like he may be... You hooked up? Yeah. Nice. Looks like he got himself a nice flounder over there. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Tide has definitely shifted. Hello. There we go. Fish on. There we go. It's a better fish. Ooh, baby, stay on. He is taking me for a ride. Oh, mama. Oh! Oh, no. Holy cow, guys, I've got a freaking doormat. And and he just turned over in his kayak. Are you all right? Whew. 
Whew, wait, guys. This is a quality, quality fish. Wow. Just when I was about ready to give up on this area. All right, one last look at him. Nice fish. Gonna revive him real good. There he goes. <laughs> nice. All right. Nice fish. Well, y'all, first things first. Heath is okay. He flipped his kayak. Um, he did lose a phone and his eyeglasses, but he's okay. His pride was a little hurt, but he's okay. We had a good laugh afterwards, but he's he's good. He's a good sport about it. Uh, good day today on, on the water. Um, I think I caught I think maybe like seven flounder. Um, the majority of them were all about 14 inches. The last one was a solid 20 inch fish. I released him. Uh, those big females, they're the big breeders. So I let her go. She swam away nice and strong. And uh, guys, it has just been a fun day today. The dorky hat's working great. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go have an adult beverage. Excuse me, I'm gonna have an adult beverage. You'd think I've already been drinking. <laughs> and I'm gonna catch up with Heath and paddle back in. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.